Welcome to Tuesday Night Vespers, my friends. I'm so happy to join with you again as we calm our hearts and minds entering into this time of prayer and reflection, listening to our scriptures. As we prepare, let us take three calming breaths together. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I'll worship your holy name. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. I'll worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul. I'll worship your holy name. Isaiah 5, starting at verse 14. Therefore, Sheol has enlarged its appetite and opened its mouth beyond measure. The nobility of Jerusalem and her multitude go down, her throng and all who exult in her. People are bowed down, everyone is brought low, and the eyes of the haughty are humbled. But the Lord of hosts is exalted by justice, and the holy God shows himself holy by righteousness. Then the lambs shall graze in their pasture, fatlings and kids shall feed among the ruins. O oh, you who drag iniquity along with cords of falsehood, who drag sin along as with a cart of ropes, who say, let him make haste, let him speed his work, that we may see it. Let the plan of the Holy One of Israel hasten to fulfillment, that we may know it. O oh, you who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. O oh, you who are wise in your own eyes and shrewd in your own sight, O oh, you who are heroes in drinking wine and valiant in mixing drink, who, accept, who, quit, who acquit the guilty for a bribe and deprive the innocent of their rights. The beginning of Romans chapter 7. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I'm speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only during a person's lifetime? Thus, a married woman is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, she is discharged from the law concerning her husband. Accordingly, she will be called an, address, an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she is free from the law, and if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. In the same way, my friends, you have died to the law through the body of Christ, so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead, in order that we may bear fruit in God. While we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions aroused by the law were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we are discharged from the law, dead to that which held us captive, so that we are slaves not under the old written code, but in the new life of the Spirit. Friends, thank you for joining me for Vespers again. I always love this time where we can listen to the word of our Lord together as we end our day and look forward to hopefully a restful night. As we close out our time together, I invite you to pray with me by repeating after me. Dear God, thank you for this day. Watch over me as I sleep and help me to be your child tomorrow. In your name I pray, amen. Good night, friends.